Number one says, here's a rule to make a list of numbers. Each number is the sum of the previous two numbers. And we're gonna start with the numbers zero and one, and then follow the rule to build a sequence of 10 numbers. So zero and one are obviously the first two numbers. Okay, so we're gonna want to get um, a third, a fourth, a fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth and 10th number. So I just like to put all blank so I know when I'm done. So we're gonna add the previous two numbers. So zero plus one is one. One plus one is two. One plus two is three. Two plus three is five. Three plus five is eight. Five plus eight is 13. Eight plus 13 is 21. And then 13 plus 21 is 34. So then you have the first 10 numbers. Number two, a sequence starts with one half, one fourth, one eighth. Give a rule that the sequence could follow. Okay, so maybe you notice that the bottom number is doubling. So you could say something like it's always going to be a fraction and then you're going to multiply the a fraction that starts with a one on top and you multiply the denominator by two. That's also a rule of multiplying the previous term um, times one half or by one half. Okay, so multiplying the previous term um, by one half or dividing by two. So now follow your rule um, to write the next three terms in the sequence. So if we take half of one eighth, okay, that's going to double the bottom number to 16. Half of 1 16th is 1 32nd, and half of 1 32nd is 1 64th. Number three, a sequence of numbers follows the rule, multiply the previous number um, by negative 2 and add 3. The fourth number in the term is um, 7, okay? So the fourth term is negative 7. Give the next three terms. So we've got, we're starting at negative seven. This is term number four. And so we're going to multiply by negative two. So we're going to do um, negative seven times negative two, which is positive 14. Then we're going to add three. And that gives us 17 for the next term. So then we're going to do 17 times negative two, which is negative 34. Then add three, which gives us negative 31. And so we wanted the next three terms. So I've done two so far. So negative 31 times negative two is positive 62 plus three gives us 67. So our next three terms were 17, negative 31 and 67. So part B asks us give three terms, give the three terms that came before negative seven. So now we're gonna wanna do this stuff backwards. Okay, so you wanna work um, the sequence backwards. So first thing we're gonna do is undo the plus three. So we're gonna subtract three, okay? And then we're going to do the opposite of multiplying by negative two. So then we're gonna divide by negative two. So I'm just going to kind of work backwards right here. So for this one, we'll take um, negative seven. Okay. And then we're going to subtract three. Okay. Which gives us negative 10. And then we're going to divide by negative two, which gives us five positive five. Okay, so then we'll do the same thing. So we'll do five and then we'll subtract three. That's going to give us two. And then we're going to take that and divide by negative two, which gives us negative one. Do it again. So negative one minus three is negative four. And then we'll divide that by negative two and negative four divided by negative two is positive two. And then if you're afraid you did it wrong, you can always redo the original 
So we could multiply two by negative two, which is negative four, plus three is negative one. Negative one times negative two is two, plus three is five. Five times negative two is negative 10, plus three gives us that negative seven. So you can always check um, by doing the rule again. Number four, a sequence starts with zero and five. Give a rule the sequence could follow in the next three terms. Um, so your answers are gonna vary here. It just kind of is what do you see happening? So maybe you see um, that this is plus five. So one of your rules could be take the previous term and add five. Um, so then finding the next three terms, so 5 plus 5 would be 10, 10 plus 5 would be 15, 15 plus 5 would be 20. Okay, you could do um, something else. So you could say, um, really there's a lot of different things you could do. I'm going to take and do, um, I'm going to multiply by 2 and then add 5 because zero times anything is zero. So zero times two is zero. And then when I add five, I get five. Um, so let's do that again. So now I'm gonna take the next term, five times two is 10. And then I'm gonna add five, which gives me 15. So my next term would be 15. 15 times two is 30 plus five is 35. Um, and then 35 times 2 is 70, and then plus 5 would give us 75. So our next um, three terms for that rule would be 15, 35, 75.